so recovery factor is defined by aerial efficiency aerial sweep efficiency vertical sweep efficiency and displacement efficiency recovery factor is basically the amount of oil produced divided by the oil remaining or oil initial oil in place at the start of water flooding and the production after water flooding so the ratio between them will be your recovery factor and in other words we can write that produced oil at any specific point of time will be the oil volume of oil present at the start of water flood into all these efficiency at that point of time now i'll give you a very brief idea about all these different terms ad is your displacement efficiency we'll talk about all these parameters in more detail when required it is also called as microscopic efficiency similarly ea is called as aerial efficiency and ev is called as vertical sweep efficiency so if we talk about aerial efficiency if we talk about aerial efficiency first now this is the reservoir and this is the top view so basically you are seeing the reservoir from above and to visualize aerial sweep efficiency what you can do that you can visualize a plain sheet and you are throwing water into that sheet so if you throw water into that sheet this is how it will flow there will be some portion remaining which will not be covered by the water when you will throw the bucket of water into that sheet and basically your water is spreading slowly and it will reach a limit depending upon the volume of the water and permeability and all those things so the area swept by the fluid is called as aerial sweep efficiency this is the total area which has to be swept but because of the pattern pattern of the well let us say there's one injector well like this and there's one producing well like this you are you are injecting well and the water is flowing out of this well and getting produced from this well so there is some area which is still left uncovered therefore this efficiency this effectiveness of aerial coverage is called as aerial sweep efficiency it is well defined by top view now similarly if we take side view of a reservoir bed this is your injector well this is your producing well now depending upon different conditions such as permeability pattern and when the water is injected it may not completely fill each and every aspect it will flow like this and because of some effect of gravity it may no it may not cover this portion so this effectiveness of your well to cover this vertical portion is called as vertical sweep efficiency now if you combine ea into ev you are basically getting the volume so collectively their multiplication will be called as volumetric sweep efficiency so this tells you about the volume of the fluid so the volume of the reservoir covered by your injector well so this volume is also called as microscopic sweep efficiency 
now even though you have covered some volume of your reservoir it is not necessary that oil will completely get displaced from that volume because there is a concept of residual oil saturation after a certain point of displacement there will be always some amount of oil remaining in the reservoir because of the capillary pressure and that will be your residual oil saturation so even though you have covered a large volume even though you have swept a large volume some amount of oil will be still remaining in the swept region so this is defined by your displacement efficiency or microscopic efficiency so basically it is telling you about the amount of oil swept by this fluid at a microscopic level so ed can be calculated as produced oil divided by oil in the reservoir in the swept region which can be given by ed is only limited to swept region as because of this it will not completely cover each and every portion of the reservoir so ed is only limited to swept region so ed will be produced oil divided by total oil or oil in place at the start of the flood in that specific region so your produced oil will be basically this will indicate initial oil this will indicate the remaining oil initial minus remaining will be your produced moreover your pore volume will remain same it will get cancelled out so ed can also be written as soi now so bar is the average oil saturation at that specific point of time at which we are calculating ed so in simple words you can say that it is the average saturation of the remaining oil and if we assume that there is not much difference between the initial formation volume factor and current formation volume factor then this thing will get cancelled out so to simplify this we can write ed as soi minus so divided by soi now this saturation of oil can be replaced by different terms to make this formula look more complicated so soi can be replaced by saturation of water we are assuming that there is no gas saturation of the remaining water and here will be have 1 minus swi initial water saturation so this will be simplified as it can be simplified as this so basically you can just remember this equation initial minus remaining divided by initial 
will give you efficiency in the swept region and by replacing this with different terms like there's a possibility that there might be gas in the initial stage so there will be a term of gas as well so instead of remaining any such formula just remember the basic definition and you will be able to solve numerical on this specific type of questions so these are the basic things about ed ev and aerial sweep efficiency we'll talk about these things in more detail when we when we go to the mobility part and when we analyze the flooding pattern its effect in mobility